Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm going to make your life easier if you're an assistant editor. This is Render Notifications in Adobe Media Encoder. I asked for this feature 10 years ago. Fell on deaf ears and now it's here, so I guess better late than never. The idea is you can now get a notification on your phone, on your watch, on your whatever, when something has rendered. And this means nothing if you're the person that sits right in front of your computer while you render. This means everything to assistant editors. You know who you are. My daughter was one of those before she uh, cut her teeth as a award-winning feature film and television editor. She was an assistant editor for several years. And that is a thankless job of late nights where you're sitting and waiting for something to render. And the reason why notification makes that easier is you can go get something to eat. You can go take a break, walk outside. But if you're in such a mission critical, if you're in advertising and you're an assistant editor, then I feel for you. I know what that environment is like. It is brutal. It is tough and is full of stress. So you would love to just be able to go out and, and uh, you know, get a cup of coffee or, or maybe you've been sitting there all night. Oh boy, I feel for you. So you can now get notifications. Now this is only in Media Encoder. This is not in Premiere Pro, but you can still send all of your sequences. You can send multiple sequences out. This is really important for people that are converting files. So if you're converting a bunch of camera files to uh, something like ProRes LT for the editor and you don't want something to break at the last minute while you're out having something to eat. So let's go have a look in Media Encoder in the edit menu on Windows in the Media Encoder menu on the Mac, preferences, notifications. There's two kinds of notifications. Send notification when all items in the queue are finished. Send notification uh, after each item in the queue finishes. I think Assistant editors should have both of these on. You want to know when each one is successful and you want to know when the whole batch is finally done. Because if something is broken and you just left five minutes ago and you expect to be out for half an hour, you're going to run back and you're going to fix it um, instead of, you know, somebody else coming in and asking, where are things out? Where have you been? So that is where the preferences are. And then on a device, like a mobile device here, I'm running Creative Cloud. Uh, and here we can look for our notifications. Now, these are the notifications I've been getting from other ones, other renders. So let's render uh, some of these here. I'll drag them in as separate sources. I'm going to leave them all the same as uh, this, but I'm going to change the location. Let me just uh, go to my test folder. So I'll start the queue and let's see what happens. So I'm getting notifications over here. as each one is, is coming in. So it's telling me all items in the queue have finished. And then there's each one of the items there mm -hmm. that have come in. But if I had a watch, then it would have shown up at the watch. All of these are successful if we just Go over to the right, you can see they're all successful and done. So that's as simple as it gets. That means Media Encoder is going to warn me when something didn't work and something did work and the batch is done. Now, you also have collaboration through Frame.io, and I'll have a link in the description for that. That's a different thing. That's if you're rendering out the timeline or a sequence and you're sending it out for collaboration and review between uh, team members. You can get the same kind of, of interaction between people and, and notifications, but it's just the difference is here it's for a batch list, which is 
or something very long that's going to render for a long, long, long time. Remember, this is media encoder, so this could have been After Effects projects too. Very long, complicated renders that are going to take you know, maybe a few hours and you don't want to sit and, and watch the pot boil, so to speak. Uh, you know, you want to go and do something else, but be alerted to that. So uh, I can see Adobe, you know, adding to this, getting more features on here. But now that we have this uh, global notification anywhere, uh, maybe the next step would be to notify other people, not just me and when something is, uh, when something is um, uh, rendered out. Maybe we'll give them that request. Hey, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. You want to support us more? You can do that on videorevealed.com slash shop. This is our store online. Donate once, monthly, any amount. We love all of our wonderful donors to help us keep going here and make new tutorials like this. We thank all of our wonderful donors that are supporting us. You know who you are, you're wonderful people. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to really feel for those assistant uh, editors out there who are doing such a thankless job, but we do appreciate everything you do.